hundreds of years, fabulous riches had accumulated behind the walls of Sodom and Gomorrah, cities of sin and unspeakable vice. And the lust for power and wealth had now reached the ever-threatening desert tribes, whose most powerful chief was the king of the Helamites. Even if your prince's estimate of officers loyal to him, our combined attack against Sodom must await the return of my cavalry. Tell your prince I look forward to the day we spill the blood of our enemies. Thank you, Your Highness. Be careful of sodomite patrols! were perpetrated in Sodom and Gomorrah. In the desert, a peaceful people, the Hebrews, wandered in search of forage for their herds and crops for themselves. Amongst these Hebrews was the tribe of Abraham. And the land was not able to bear them that they might dwell together, for their numbers were great. So Abraham said unto Lot, If you will take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if you depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. And then Lot chose and journeyed east with all his people on the valley of the Jordan. The journey was long and weary. Thirst, hunger, and exhaustion came unto Lot's people. And so did the loss of hope that spread amongst them the seed of dissension. Lot says it's only for the sick to drink. Aren't you sick, Isaac? Do you feel well? Rip them open. Go on. Let the cold water rush over your hands, your face. Let it wet your lips, fill your mouth. No, 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 don't, please. Then when Lot gets angry, you say, but Lot, dear Lot, can't you see? I'm sick. I die for water. Take it. No. Go on. Take no. it. No, 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 yeah, no, please, take it. don't. No. Go on. No. Wait, Isaac, wait. Please, I want a drink. I'm, I'm sick, Lot. I'm sick. It was put all here right, for this sick. Right. Please, Lot, give me a drink. Please. Help him. Help him. But who made it him sick? Who goaded him so he lost control? I say, Lot did. I say we turn back. Turn back? When we are almost within a few days, even a few hours of our destination? I say, Lot is not fit to lead us. We've suffered enough. It's not our custom to settle such matters with a weapon. Give the word to turn back. The council has empowered Lot to be our leader, Melchior. It is your place to obey. That staff belongs in my hand. It's my place to lead. <laughs> As Melchior burns for action, I suggest he come ahead with me. We'll find out how far we still have to go. Come on. Water. Come, let's drink. Wait. Where there's water, there is also danger. I'm looking for water. You will find none at the oasis, not since the drought three years ago. You're Hebrews, aren't you? Yes. Our patrols have told us for weeks that you were coming. They said that your men were bearded, but you're clean-shaven. 
Why? Our men go clean-shaven when they're in mourning. Really? For whom? A favorite, perhaps. A wife. <laughs> a wife. There is always someone to take the place of a wife, no? How far is it to water? Many of my people are sick for want of it. It may not just be water they need. They may also need salt. Salt? But salt creates thirst. It is a secret as old as my city. When one is overcome by witness from the sun's heat, one eats salt. Unfortunately, I traded all mine for, for those slaves, you see. I bought them for the queen. They worked four times their weight in salt. Poor creatures. Am I a poor creature, too? Does your heart ache for me? I'm a slave, too. Chief of the queen's body slaves. But for one human to own another is wrong. Evil. Evil? How strange you are. Where I come from, nothing is evil. Everything that gives pleasure is good. Well, where do you come from? There. Not far. Just ahead. Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> Beware! Your sins cry out for extermination! <laughs> you buy men and women as if they were objects of stone. Treat them only as, as implements for your pleasure or machines to work. Even as you whip and force them to mine your miraculous deposits of pure white salt, only to increase the power and wealth of your infamous cities. <laughs> Yes, your power and wealth rests on salt, and your salt is bought with the blood of slaves. Hear me, O oh people of Sodom. It's only Alabias, the old clown. Close his mouth. I must warn the prince. Yeah, 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 yeah. And someday they will destroy you, just as your bloody prince would destroy even his own sister. Silence, old man. Dare blaspheme against the Queen's brother? Who is he to command loyalty? And you to speak of it? <laughs> you, who monopolized that one commodity more valuable in all Africa than gold. Salt! Who used this precious stuff to keep your cruel fingers tight on the heartstrings of a whole continent. Who trade your salt for jewels, perfumes, or slaves? to sate the hideous appetite of your queen and your infamous prince, our brother. yet arrived. It was well done to come so fast. You shall be rewarded. Yet it's enough to call for other methods, more subtle perhaps. Betrayal. A great defeat on the field of battle that would disgrace her. Then her murder would be hailed as a supreme act of patriotism. And he who kills her, the next king of Sodom and Gomorrah. My sister. She thinks herself a stronger leader as a man might be. But she has a little cautious woman's mind. I could create a state, a nation, an empire. She seeks to conserve only what we have. 
Our two joint cities. Here she is, stupid creature. 